Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. Today we're going to make these delicious chicken parm burgers. I think you're going to really love this combination for a weeknight meal or any time for that matter. Let's go see how we put this all together. So I have two pounds of fresh ground chicken. I have a cup of dry bread crumb, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, an egg, I have about a half a cup of milk, and then we're gonna top everything, oh, sorry. We also have a tablespoon of my pizza seasoning blend. We're, once these are baked on the sheet, we're gonna top them with some of our favorite pasta sauce and some Italian cheese blend. And there's those fingers. So we're gonna go ahead right now and we're just gonna we're just gonna mix this all together. So just gonna add your egg to your meat. We'll throw in the seasoning, the parm. You of course can adjust this. I'm only gonna put about that much of the parmesan, so that is like a quarter of a cup or so. And we'll start with about a half a cup of the breadcrumb and we'll see where that leads us. I always add a little bit of milk to my uh, meat mixture whenever I make meatloaf or uh, meatballs. And the reason I do that is because you never know um, how dry the breadcrumbs are for one thing and how, how moist the meat is, whatever meat you're using. Sometimes uh, like ground chicken and ground turkey, they can tend to be a bit moister than ground beef and ground pork. So sometimes you just need to play it by ear and wing it. Now I see that I'm probably going to want to add a little more breadcrumb. I'll just throw it all in. I estimated that I was going to need about a cup and it looks like that was pretty good on my part. If you've never made a a fortified burger like this or a Salisbury steak or meatloaf. It really does come with practice, but I'm gonna give you a starting point. You see how when I turn it, it's not like super sticky and it's like a cohesive mass. And that's what you want. It smells really good too. So I'm gonna go ahead and make patties and put them on my sheet pan and I'll be right back when it's time to pop these in the oven. All right, I've got my chicken burgers all ready to go, all patted out, and I've got my hole poked in the middle. This will cook out as this cooks. That will shrink up, and it will make it so that you don't end up with golf balls. You actually get nice burgers. What I am going to do is I actually did spray the pan with some uh, sunflower oil. Simply because we are dealing with chicken, I don't know uh, I the how... This is probably ultra lean and I don't want it sticking. So I'm also spraying the top of the patties so that they cook nicely and I may come in here halfway through and flip them over. So our oven is preheated at 400 degrees. We're gonna pop this in there and we're gonna cook those for 20 to 30 minutes and I'll be back when it's time to take them out and move on to the garlic bread. All right, here we go. These have been in the oven about 15 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. And you see, you're going to need... I should have put these on uh, non-stick foil, but that's okay. They're almost done. I'm going to pop them back in the oven for about 10 minutes. And we'll be back to show you how we're going to make our garlic toast. Alright, we're going to make some garlic toast. Now, this is pretty much the way anybody makes garlic toast, but I'm going to show you anyway so you can see in case you've never made it before. I picked up a loaf of traditional style Italian bread from my grocery store deli, so just pick up a good quality loaf of Italian bread that is not sliced. Bring it home and you're going to slice this about an inch and a half thick. Wouldn't you say that's about how thick it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've, I've created six slices here because I have six burgers. And I have melted a stick of butter. We may not use all of it, but all I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to brush each slice with a little bit of melted butter. And it's going to be just delicious. It's going to be nice and easy to eat. See, we didn't use all of that butter. I would say we used about half of it. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle this with some just garlic powder. And you can go as heavy or as light as you like here. I figure we're eating garlic bread, right? And just give it a little dusting. Now I'm going to take some more of my pizza seasoning and I'm just going to sprinkle it liberally over each slice. All right. Now, if you want to wait until your burgers are finished, then go right ahead and use the same pan. I have gone ahead and set up a different pan. And I'm just going to pop these in the oven on the bottom rack underneath my burgers while they finish cooking. They're going to be coming out in about five minutes. Our garlic bread shouldn't take much longer than that. We'll be back when it's time to put this all together and get the sauce and the cheese going. All right, I just pulled my uh, chicken burgers back out of the oven, and I just want to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. I Yes, they are. They're nice and opaque in the middle. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to loosen these. Okay. I'm going to grab the garlic bread, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, so what I've done is I've just placed a burger on each piece of garlic toast. And this is just going to help us create our chicken parm burger. Now what I want you to do is take a couple of tablespoons of your favorite pasta sauce, or maybe if you have a homemade version, you can use that. That would be lovely here. I'm just going to put pasta sauce on the top of each one. And I have about a cup and a half of sauce here. You can use as much or as little as you prefer. Now I have about a cup of shredded Italian blend cheese. And I'm going to just top each one. We're going to pop these back in the oven. These are going to go back in the oven for just a few minutes to melt that cheese and heat up that sauce. We'll be back when it's time to take these out. All right, our chicken parm burgers are ready to come out of the oven. Just when the cheese is melted, that's when you want to pull them out. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to eat. Okay, I have fixed you a plate. These are the chicken burgers are all done and the cheese is all melty and the sauce is warmed through and everything's kind of soaked in and the, the piece of garlic toast has caught any juices that the burger had to render. And we are serving these alongside some zucchini fries today. For now, I just wanna share with you what these look like on the inside. They're moist. Oh, they look incredible. Mm -hmm. Okay, honey, you gonna take one for the team? I have to. You have to. You know you have to. All right, here you go, babe. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. Oh my. Oh, that's so tasty. Mm -hmm. That chicken burger is really, really delicious. You're mm -hmm. going to love these. Yes. Oh, it's moist. It's flavorful. It's such a different alternative to a regular sandwich night. You're going to love this. It didn't take any longer to make really than calling an order and going to pick it up. Give this a try. If you like this video today, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on our YouTube channel and in our kitchen. So I hope you give these open-faced chicken parm burgers a try. And I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya. Sorry, yes, two ounces of creme de mint syrup. We're gonna add about a quarter of a cup of milk. I want this to be a thick shake. So we're gonna add about a quarter of a cup of milk. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in these 